continuing the series on the Bible creation account. And in today's teaching we can have a look um, briefly at uh, God's creation of the earth. When the earth was originally created by God. And what we will see uh, from scripture is that uh, the earth itself um, is far older than even scientists can begin to imagine. Um, because we have to go back in scripture, we have to look at when God created the earth, his um, creation of the earth in relation to his creation of the realms, uh, the spiritual realms as well. And so what we will see in scripture is that um, the spiritual realms that God created obviously um, fall into a time period that is far more ancient than we as natural humans can begin to fathom. And the creation of, of the earth falls into that category. And so the scripture that we'll open up with today is in Job chapter 38, verse 4 to 7. This is God speaking. And he says, Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Who stretched out the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. And so we see here when God um, relates to Job, uh, the account of when he created the earth, that the angels of God, all of them were present at that particular time. And that would have included Lucifer and his angels. For um, as we've discussed thus far, and we'll obviously see it now as well, um, the earth, the spiritual aspect of the earth, God created um, for Lucifer and for his angels. He had given them domain over that um, creation of his. And so the earth itself was created before Lucifer rebelled against God. Now that all transpired in ages past that, as I say, far exceed any time scale that human um, thinking can begin to imagine. And so when God created the earth, um, in Genesis 1-1, the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. That is the account of this particular discourse that God is speaking about. For it is at that time that God created the earth. Um, the rest of Genesis from verse 2 onwards is not the creation account of the earth itself, but um, a furtherance of God's creation. But on this occasion, when the, um, the foundations of the earth were laid, <clears throat> this is Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as, as I say, the scripture says to us, at this time, Lucifer and his angels, plus obviously all the angels of God, were present to witness that creation of God. So it's very important for us to recognize uh, that particular truth. Another passage of scripture that helps us to understand the concept of the age of the earth is a, given to us in Revelation chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. Um, the scripture says, And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. And you hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith even the days in, when, in which Antipas was my faithful martyr who was killed among you where Satan dwells. Now, in this passage of Scripture, our Lord is talking about the throne of Satan. And our Lord places Satan's throne at a very specific geographic point in the earth. Now, when our Lord does that, our Lord is referring to the spiritual realm in which Satan dwells. For Satan's throne is not physically located on the earth. He doesn't physically walk around on the earth, specifically in the town of Pergamos. And, you know, walks up and down the streets and interacts with mankind. Not at all. Um, when our Lord is speaking about Satan's throne in that geographic location, our Lord is talking about the corresponding location in the realm of the Spirit. And so what we see in Scripture very clearly um, 
is that when God created the earth, he created it with two dimensions. The heavens, as we've already mentioned, God created with only the one dimension, which is the spiritual. And so angels are spirits, and so they dwell in the heavens, and the heavens are, is a spiritual realm. God himself is spirit, our Lord taught us. And so that is also the heaven of heavens is also a spiritual realm. However, when God created the earth, he created it with two dimensions, a physical dimension and a spiritual dimension. Those two dimensions exist parallel to each other, which is why our Lord could say to his church in Pergamos, you know, Satan's throne is there. Um, so so you, you can't go walking around looking for Satan's throne because when our Lord referred to that, he was talking in the realm of the spirit. That is where Satan's throne is located. Nevertheless, it is in a parallel earth. Well, in a, a parallel earth, it's the, the spiritual dimension of the physical earth that God created. So we need to understand the concept very clearly um, that scripture does reveal to us that God created the earth with two dimensions, a spiritual and a physical dimension. Now, the, the spiritual dimension God gave over to the angels, to Lucifer and to his angels, not to Satan and his angels. That transpired at a later stage. But when God initially created the earth, both the spiritual and the physical, God gave the spiritual dimension of the earth to Lucifer and to his angels, and Lucifer's throne was placed in that geographic location in the spirit. Uh, we need to understand the concept that we, we have these two dimensions that are always parallel to each other as far as the earth is concerned. And that's why demons, the uh, Lord said, when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he walks through dry places seeking rest and finds none. And then he says, I'll go back to the house from which I came. So when a demon leaves a human's body, the realm they enter into is also an earthly realm, but it's an earthly realm in the spirit. And it doesn't look at all like the, the earth in the physical because their earthly realm is uh, dry places in which they find no rest, which is why they always seek to inhabit the body of a man. So we, we need to understand we have these two dimensions that are completely uh, interlinked, parallel to each other, and God created them at the same time. And so angels are spirit beings, Scripture tells us, Hebrews 1, 7. And so that is why the spiritual dimension of the earth was given over to Lucifer and to his angels. And that is why God, when he speaks about Lucifer uh, in the book of Ezekiel uh, 28, 13, one of the comments God says about him is that he was in Eden, the garden of God. And that is referring to the spiritual Eden in the, uh, the spiritual earth that God created. That is the Eden that Lucifer walked around in, and his angels as well. Um, the, the physical earth was not given over to Lucifer and to his angels. It was the spiritual dimension of the earth that was given over to Lucifer and to his angels. And so we pick up another passage of scripture that gives us some insight into the truth that when God created the earth, he created both physical and spiritual at the same time. But the spiritual was given to the angels and the physical was um, left and um, put into isolation, kind of, um, in preparation for man who he would create at a later stage. And we pick it up in Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 through to 10. Scripture says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so that is referring to that passage in Job 38, where God talks about when he created the earth. And then in verse 2, goes on to say, And darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And in verse 9, Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And so what we see in this passage of scripture uh, 
is a detailed description, well not detailed, it's a brief overview, but it gives us some insight as to what transpired when God created the earth, the physical realm of the earth. So he, I, I trust you understand, he, when he created the earth, he created it both physically and spiritually at the same time. The angels of, of Lucifer and Lucifer himself were given the spiritual um, aspect of the earth. The physical aspect, however, what God did was that he, he covered it in a mantle of water and he put darkness all around the earth. So the physical earth at the time that God created it, uh, go back to Job 38, the physical aspect God encapsulated with water and darkness. Now, why did he do that? He did that because the physical earth was not created for angels. The physical earth that God created was created for man. And it wasn't yet time for man to appear on the earth. So what God did was that he put it into incubation, kind of, uh, you could say. He uh, encapsulated it with water and darkness. And we see that coming from this passage of scripture because in the Genesis account, in verse 9, when God says, okay, now's the time, well, in verse 2, he talks about um, darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters. So now that is a picture of God coming to the earth and saying, okay, now's the time for the physical earth to be revealed. So in other words, it was there, but God had encapsulated with water and darkness. But now God comes to the earth and, he, and now is the time. So from verse 2 of Genesis onwards, that is the account of what God did to the physical earth that already pre-existed all the way back when God originally created it, um, when Lucifer and his angels were given domain over the earth. And so... As I said, the earth is far more ancient than we can even begin to imagine. Um, scientists uh, today estimate that the universe is roughly 14 billion years old. But the earth, as we will see as we go into the series, is, exceeds that age. Um, and so the earth was re is really an ancient creation of God. But for, mil well not millennia, for billions and billions and billions and billions, might even be trillions of years, we have no idea because time outside of the physical um, in the spirit realm is, is a different concept entirely. Um, but the earth was present when God came to the earth in Genesis 1-2 uh, and began to then um, reveal the earth that he had created. And we see that in the scripture very clearly. In verse 9, the scripture says, Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear. So the dry land was always there. It was just encapsulated by water. And so in verse 9, we see God now separating the waters from the dry land and the dry land um, beginning to appear on the earth. So again, it just highlights the truth to us very clearly that the earth itself, the creation of God's earth far exceeds anything that we can begin to imagine time scale wise as far as natural human thinking um, can understand it. And then another passage of scripture that we can see that also talks about the creation of the earth and gives us understanding about it um, is in, this, in Job 38 again 16 and 18, uh, 2 18 should I say, God speaking to Job about the creation of the earth at the time that he created it. And he says to Job, Have you entered the springs of the earth, or have you walked in search of the depths? Have the gates of death been revealed to you, or have you seen the doors of the shadow of death? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know all of this. And so when God created the earth, both its physical and spiritual realm, God also created the spiritual realm which is in the center of the earth, below the earth. And that realm is referred to as Hades, um, as death. God speaks about the gates of death. Uh, the gates of death are the entrance into Hades. 
And so in scripture, that, that particular realm has numerous titles given to it. It's called the bottomless pit. It's called Sheol. But it's a, a spiritual realm that is in the center of the earth. Again, just showing to us the ancientness of the earth because the physical realm had to exist at, with the, at the same time that the spiritual realm was created. And thus, obviously, the spiritual realm below the earth was created at the same time. All of it was created at the same time by God, um, which is why Scripture reveals to us, and then we said that um, God gave into Lucifer's domain. So it wasn't Satan's domain. The, at the, originally, when God created the spiritual earth, the physical earth, and the spiritual realms under the earth, uh, Lucifer was still a part of God's kingdom, and all of these angels were part of God's kingdom. God gave the spiritual realm of the earth and the spiritual realm under the earth into Lucifer's domain. So Lucifer had authority over all of that, which is why the scripture tells us um, in Hebrews 2.14 that Satan today has the power or the dominion of death. Now, why is that? He didn't gain that um, by illegal means, not at all. We, remember we said to in, the, in previous teachings that when God created his angelic beings, it was at that time that he gave them their thrones and their dominions. And they have held those thrones and dominions from the moment that the time that God created them. They will continue to hold those thrones and dominions until the end of the age. That includes Lucifer, who thus became Satan when he rebelled against God. But at the time that God created death and Hades in the center of the earth, he gave that dominion into Lucifer's control, which is why Satan today still has dominion over death, because it was originally given to him by God. And that's another reason why our Lord Jesus Christ, when he went into death and Hades, and he suffered for the sin of the world, and he was raised from the dead there, he was at that point able to take away from Satan the keys of death and of Hades. We picked that up in Revelation 1.18. Prior to that, uh, prior to that confrontation that took place in the center of the earth, when our Lord was raised from the dead, made alive once again after he had suffered for three nights and three days in the center of the earth for the son of mankind, he then overcame Satan and his angels. He destroyed principalities and powers. He made an open show of them, the Bible tells us. And it was at that point that Jesus took off of Satan the keys to death and to Hades. Prior to that, Satan held those keys. Those keys had been given to him when he was still Lucifer and God had given that realm to his domain. But now Jesus holds those keys because he took them off of Satan. Now, that also gives us a, a, another insight into what Paul is talking about when Paul tells us that um, death uh, fell under Lucifer's authority, under Satan's authority. Because in um, Romans chapter 14, verse 9, the scripture says that it was for this reason that the Lord Jesus both lived and died and rose again so that he might become Lord of both the living and the dead. And so what we see in Scripture is that before Jesus went to the cross and died and was taken down into the lowest part of hell and suffered those three days and three nights um, and then was raised to life again, before that happened, God was always and still is the God of the living. God is not the God of the dead. Jesus taught us that in Mark 12 verse 27. The dead do not fall under God's domain. They fall under Satan's domain. And so God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. However, what uh, God did with G our Lord Jesus Christ is that when Jesus went into the center of the earth and um, paid the price for our sins and was then uh, uh, made alive and was able to overcome Satan and his angels and destroyed them, one of the reasons that Jesus did that was so that he could become Lord of both the living and the dead. And so now Jesus is now Lord of both living and the dead, whereas before that was not the case. 
Satan was Lord of the dead, but now Jesus is Lord of both. Um, and so it, it's just highlighting that particular truth to us. The point being is that the, the realms of the center of the earth, death and Hades, have been in existence in ages past that far exceed anything that mankind begins to understand. Now those realms couldn't exist before the physical earth was created. And the physical earth was created, as we say, uh, in ages past that far exceed anything that we can even begin to imagine. We're going to end the teaching on that point today.